guys, it's time. Let's friggin' do it. Let's hop into iCast, your freaking awesome replays. And down here in the bottom right hand side of the map, in the red, it is alchemy. And up here in the top left hand side saying threat detected destruction mode activated. Beep bop. It is Betla Bobby. Is that like a um What's what's the Jesus? My brain! What's the one where you're under the ocean? Is, is, that, is, that what, is that what they say? I, I can't even remember what this is from. Destruction mode activated? I don't even know. Is this like, or is this some like lost in space, like ancient meme? I don't even know. Anyways, turns out better Bobby up here is going to be going for a CC first. Why not? All right, nice, nice. Uh, nice and sexy. A good way, of course, to start off the We Are Billions challenge. For you guys just tuning in, this is the iCast, your freaking awesome replays. There's a weekly challenge, we pick the best games, uh, well my mods do anyway, and I get to cast them. So, uh, one of these players, who knows, maybe both, but probably just one, I'm assuming Betla Bobby, since Betla Bobby's been uh, very, very focused on, uh, on on bringing out some weird weird banter from the start, is, uh, is going to be trying to overwhelm the opponent with just ridiculous numbers. So we're going to see exactly... How that eventuates, is it going to be 4 billion marines, 4 billion hellions, widow mines, I don't even know. But it's all about drowning your opponent in just vast, vast numbers of units, not necessarily being efficient, but just kind of role-playing the zombie horde. Of course, if you guys want to get your replays in for next week, the topic has been announced, and I'm actually really proud of this one. I literally woke up in the middle of the night, had to go pee, while I was draining the main vein, like my name's Saddam Hussein, it popped into my head. I said, oh, I still haven't thought of a topic yet, have I, for Icy Far? And I said, I was like, why not queuing things up? Why not? And it was like, actually, that's fucking genius. The amount of weird shit you can do if you're purposefully trying to focus on queuing up as many commands as possible with that shift button is insane. I want to see games where someone builds 26 Liberators over the course of a game and just keeps queuing them up to siege up Mineral Lands. I want to see people making love hearts by queuing up move commands with their scouting workers. I want to see people just doing random ass shit. I want to see people queuing up attacks to hit in three places at once without actually actively microing them at all. I want to see all sorts of random and creative weird things you guys can do when you're really focusing on trying to use the shift command. Uh, speaking of weird, crazy things, looking back at this game, I like Better Bobby's mindset here. I just played this challenge myself, and I went mass zealot in a PBT, straight to four bases. Looks like Bella Bobby, following the same mentality, he's like, you know what? Let's get a third base on the gold at three minutes. Why not? You know what? Let's get a fourth barracks. Who needs gas? Gas is for losers anyway. Let's just let's just fucking take three base as he scouted. He, he had seen nothing. Finally, a stalk is coming across for alchemy, and alchemy's like, ah, oh, crap. There's a bunch of dudes with guns. I better micro. Oh, oh, fancy. Look at this prancing pony. Oh my god, it's like the fucking Lord of the Rings inn they go to. Oh man. Um, apparently, ha, <laughs> yeah. Turns out the hobbits do end up taking down the uh, the rowdy innkeeper though. Damn. Uh, that Prancing Pony didn't quite micro well enough there. Alchemy's like, ah, that wasn't so good, man. I'm going to make a Robo. Uh, we've got... So it's two-gate Robo. Alchemy's like, kind of playing a normal game, but it's seen the gold base, actually, and that's kind of huge. That Stalker spotted that gold. So what's Alchemy going to do to respond to the greediest, most ridiculous Terran? No. Are there... Oh, my God. The Rally Points are in the Protoss base right now. Better Bobby's like, you know what? I played that They Are Billions game, pig, and I really want to get in character. I, the zombies just come in random fucking waves, rather than all just grouping up and going at once. So, you know what? I, I am also like a zombie horde. I am also not going to group up or think about what I'm doing. Fortunately for me, these aren't so much prancing ponies as they are ponies that got dropped on their head a few times as children because they aren't microing at all. And the unit which normally dicks the shit out of marines um, actually is getting totally destroyed. Oh, thankfully Big Daddy Immortals here. Immortals probably going to do pretty good. We've got a shield battery as well, but the marines, they're not going to stop. 
Better Bobby's like, oh yeah, you know, I uh, hear Pig likes to make jokes about how uh, Terran commanders don't really care about their Marines' lives or, you know, healthcare or anything, but uh, <laughs> I'm just going to accentuate that point by basically going full fuck off, Terran. I'm just going to take a billion bases and just rally unupgraded Marines. We're not going to give them shields. We're not going to give them upgraded guns. We're just going to rally them in. Thankfully, he does have this one moment here where he's like, you know what? I'll let you group up a little bit before we go in the next time. Meanwhile, Alchemy's shitting the pants uh, pretty hard right now. He's looking at, down at the sheets. He's like, ah, oh, shit. I don't really know how to clean that up. I'm not very domesticated. Uh, maybe I'll take a third. Maybe I'll get two forges and a twilight. I don't really know what's outside my base, though. So, um, I'll make, I'll make a couple of adepts. Alright, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna be safe. I think. Maybe. I don't really know what's going on. I have no idea what's outside my basin. Oh, fuck no! No, how can they? <laughs> oh, you poor soul. Holy shit. The immortal and two adepts just get absolutely savagely wrecked. Alchemy's complete lack of map control, not working out too well for him there. The marines are like, yeah, alright, the shield battery's gone, how about we fight you guys? These stalkers standing around like a bunch of dummies, rather than micro- Oh god, they're all getting their heads blown off. Shit, these marines are actually overwhelming. Battery boy, do something! He's like, I don't have any energy, mate! I'm just a floating ball at this point, I'm basically ornamental. I don't actually add anything to the combat, thankfully. Big Mummy Immortal comes out. Big Daddy Immortal decided to get in a war prism and died like the dumbass that he was. But Big Mummy Immortal's here. She's got five kills. She saved the day for now. Unfortunately for her, we've got a casual eight barracks. Okay, so so better Bobby's like, ah, hmm. So you know what? The uh, They're just rallying units planning. It hasn't really won me the game. And I can kind of see into the future and imagine a point where the Protoss has like six Colossi, Storm, and... Unupgraded Marines probably aren't going to do too well at that point. I better keep attacking. Uh, and he's going to just fucking walk 300 Marines in here. Alchemy's like, ah, oh, shit. Better keep building Stalkers and Immortals because Marines are definitely armored units. Ah, crap. These Marines coming forward. Are they going to get the ball? Oh, she's running away. Oh, she's stuck. Those Stalkers trapped her up front. Oh, no. Oh, Big Mummy Immortal just barely survives 19 kills before deciding to run forward. And uh, no doubt she will be dying in just a moment. Yes, focus fire. Oh my god, better Bobby. He's kind of betraying his zombie role playing there. He's like, I'm actually going to focus fire that unit rather than mindlessly E moving. Uh, meanwhile, though, we got eight barracks, uh, eight marines in production. We got barracks building in the middle of the map. So better Bobby's like, you know what? Let's let's set up a forward rally point here. Of course, uh, quite a lot of APM simply from queuing up marines, SCVs, barracks, and depots here from Better Bobby. Better Bobby's up to a grand total of 11 barracks. Gonna be about 15 or 16 soon. What have we got? We've got, oh shit, the first Colossi and one one upgrades on the way and charge. If Alchemy gets even like two Colossi out, they will make these marines look like butter and the Colossus will be the hot fucking knife slicing right through that. They'll be melting and screaming. There'll be little pieces of marine flying all over the place. And I feel like Alchemy's going to have a good day. So Alchemy's first Colossus pops out. Oh, oh God, that's frightening. And he's even got spikes on it. It's an ornamental Colossus. It came from the Taldarim, apparently. They're the ones that smoke too much of that gas, which they worship or some shit. It's, uh, it's like Amon's fart gas or some shit. They, they gave it a fancy name to make it seem classier. Basically, they just smoke a lot of a demigod's fucking ass fumes. This Colossus has got the double battery support. Oh shit, that's a lot of Marines though. No fucking way. The Colossus goes down at the same time. Marines come in on the top base as well. The Immortals and Stalkers are still like, man, we're really, for some reason, we're not getting that bonus to armored versus these Marines. It's it's kind of tough to take him on. Better Bobby's like, ah, oh, let's get in there. The next Colossal is about to pop out. Thought it was going to be the uh, the end of the game for Better Bobby, but oh, it's not even going to get a chance to pop. Better Bobby's like, nah, man, just going to fuck you up. And these Marines are like, we might as well take down a pylon rather than actually kill anything. After all, Marines, man, no one gives a shit about Marines. They just get massacred. These Marines just coming in about 46 at a time. Uh, we are up to 16 barracks at home. These probes having a terrible time. Uh, they wish they had been instead cast for that Wally movie. Instead, they'd get to have a nice romance with another robot. They'd find a plant on Earth. They'd hang around packing garbage. Instead, they just get their faces fucking shot off by a bunch of angry, stimmed-up marines. Uh, 
who don't even know why they're fighting for the top of this neon violet square anyway. Most of them honestly can't wait to head over to uh, to Bob's guns or maybe even get some uh, Where's that? Where's that? Where's that other poster? Where's that? Oh man, do they change the post? Oh yeah, they, they all want to get their bonuses so they can buy some Emporio or Morning and look as sexy as this guy over here. They definitely want all you can eat at Long John's. Apparently it's spicy. There's a picture of a chili there. Uh, there's also a karaoke pub. If you've, ever, if you've ever been to Southeast Asia, uh, I feel like this, this, this could be a Southeast Asian kind of city. Karaoke, not always about singing. Uh, one thing I learned when I was over there. It's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, yes. Okay. Uh, Marines. Um, okay, so they're not gonna have too much fun there. The Zealots with 1-1. One, one. They're gonna, they're gonna jump on top of that. Uh, Marines are like, you know what? We're gonna go in a few at a time. Better Bobby's like, I've played zombie games. It's not fair to go all at once. We're gonna go about six Marines at a time. Let's, let's do it. Yeah. Um, Alchemy's like, you know what? I'm gonna come out and fight all your zombies at once. Better Bobby's like, oh, you just came too close to my fucking City of Doom. City of, the, what do they, they call it? City of the Doom or some shit like that. Um, there's about unlimited dudes who are gonna come out. Yeah, we don't have upgrades, but do we really need them? No, because we have 15 barracks and almost 4,000 minerals a minute coming in. So, uh, just, just to put that in perspective, uh, he's able to build 72 marines a minute. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually counting that correctly, aren't I? I actually just did maths on string. 3,600 minerals a minute, that's 72 marines a minute. Oh my god, he blinds the units with his big fuck off scan. Tries to channel his inner Avillo versus Avillo there, is like, oh yeah, take that, your units are fucking blind now. Unfortunately, he didn't count on the fact that Protoss have a very strong sense of smell, so these Zealots and Stalkers can still smell the fear on these unupgraded Marines. Some of them aren't even given attack commands yet. I guess this is that, you know, enemy at the gates, Russia World War II style. Half of them don't even have bullets in their guns, no one gives a fuck. As long as eventually we kill the Protoss and kick them off our tower, it's going to be totally fine. Uh, these three zealots here, each one has like seven to eight kills. Well, this guy's got nine. That's his tenth. He's going to go for an eleventh. This zealot's a hero. They tell legends about that twelve kill zealot there. He killed twelve fuck off marines. Of course, no one believes the story because normally when you go into battle as a Protoss, the Marines have a fuckload of Marines, Liberators, Marauders. They have combat shields, highly upgraded weapons, and medevacs healing them. Uh, but these these Protoss here, they're going to brag. They're going to talk about how they took down thousands. This is going to be the fucking Alamo of, of Protoss. This is going to be 300. They're defending the pass against the Persian hordes. Really, though, these guys aren't even upgraded. What you're really doing is you're a bunch of crack elite fucking laser toting upgraded soldiers taking on a bunch of unupgraded dumbasses who basically just got forced into this because they have no other prospects in life because society's fucked up and we don't really care about poor people. So yeah, good on you alchemy. You guys are so fucking elite. You're taking out a bunch of disenfranchised people who had guns thrust into their hands based on the rich desires of the people in the class above them. Good fucking job. Keep keep bragging about how many of these fucking poor defenseless souls you're massacring. Oh, look at this. You've got 18 kills, do you, Stalker? You've got 21. Okay. All right, you've got two, two upgrades. Now you've got a couple of testicles joining out the army. And let's face it, the long dick of Protoss really isn't complete unless it's got two balls behind it. Uh, better Bobby's like, this is kind of tough. I've lost about half of my production. I need some more barracks. He's down to only 12 barracks right now. That's not great. Luckily for him, he's got about 27 expansions. Alchemy's like, you know what? I think I've cleared up your main economy. I saw you took this gold early. It was probably your natural expansion. I feel like now maybe I'm even or even ahead in economy. I'm even going to get a base on the back. Little does he know he's up against a 66 SCV. Still over two and a half thousand mineral a minute Terran. And now we've got some fuck off bunkers. Finally, better Bobby investing in the safety of his units while that zealot died to his own disruptor shot. Jesus, balls to the face. Alchemy has been stretching out his tendies or something because I don't know how that managed to hit his own guy in the face But I mean most men have never experienced that meanwhile better Bobby's like I'm gonna float a command center into your base because fuck you I've got more Marines on the way. Here's some SCVs. They're just standing around having a bit of a repair They're like just just drill some stuff. That's your orders. Okay, just just oh my god another ball shot goes in it hits a barracks I've got to take my hat off to alchemy here some Impressive sieging, but I mean he feels confident. He knows this is the last little bastion of better Bobby He's starving his economy's gone. Why is there a command center in my base says alchemy? I don't understand It must oh he must have been confused. This must be his only other base on the map. I think I'm winning. 
I think I'm definitely winning this game. I've got immortals now, more zealots, 2-2. Two, two. Meanwhile, better Bobby's like, I better transition. I'm going to make a factory, and I'm just gonna stop making marines, even though I've got 27 barracks and that's really all I'm actually fucking- No, I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go pure command center. Okay. Why not, better Bobby? Uh, no, seriously, what the fuck are you doing right now? I don't even know. Here we go, we're gonna see if a few more balls to the face can find any damage. Um, one goes forward, hits the barracks again! Amazing aim here from Alchemy. Uh, Alchemy really should enter in a shot put competition or something, because if there's one thing he can hit, it's the ground. It's, it's, he can't hit much else, but he keeps hitting the ground, occasionally a barracks. So I've got to, I've got to take my hat off to him for that. Um, looks like we're going for a mass starport transition. Better Bobby's like, okay, the basic zombie wave didn't work, but we've been in the game for 15 minutes. It's time to go for the mass flying zombie. I don't know, are there flying zombies in games? I don't really think there are, but we're just going to roll with it. We're going to kind of try and accommodate exactly what the fuck he's trying to do. Better Bobby's like, ah, oh, let's attack into the bunkers again. Thankfully for me, uh, Better Bobby just stopped building marines, even though he's got 6,000 minerals. He's decided they're not worth it anymore. He wants to save lives. There's the new act saying you can't just throw away marines' lives like that. It's not cool, man. Uh, looks like this whole main base might actually be four, but he's not building him. He doesn't even give a shit. He's like, nah, man, I don't even want it. You can take it. This, I, I, I never wanted it in the first place. You can play with my toys, my base. I don't, I don't care. I'm going to build some planetaries. I'm going to just, just make some starports. Don't really know what he's doing. It looks like eight liberate. Oh, six liberators. Okay, I, I can, I can handle that. Um, so better Bobby here is basically like, okay. I'm just gonna make liberators and oh m more starports. Okay. All right. Why not? We've got some more depots going down These stalkers have found the planetary fortress. They're gonna try and fight it uh, as I mentioned earlier Normally stalkers a highly elite unit. You might have seen liquid hero back in the day micro them parting uh, more recently zest classic SOS all of these absolute heroes they're one of the most agile microable and flexible units, useful in many situations when used with good control, and I think this is a perfect display of that great control from Alchemy. He damaged that planetary fortress and took down one SCV, a very good trade for those eight stalkers, got to take my hat off to him for that one. 3-3 uh, three, three is now on the way for Alchemy as well, he's like, okay, I think I'm still in this game, I've just got to kill this last base of yours, what did I just press? I think I just pressed back 10 seconds, apparently I did. Uh, obviously we cast this off replays guys if we were lucky enough to get games like this live I would cast it live, but that's never gonna happen Let's be real because games like this only happen in the dark imaginary corner of the internet Where the people who play it immediately go did anyone fucking see that? Thankfully yes If you send your replays to me a lot of people will see it myself included the two balls here are still intact Of course alchemy's got to be careful to defend the family jewels uh, Gotta make sure you hang on is that a 53 killer mortal? Do you, do you guys, do you guys see, is that, is that a 53 fucking killer mortal? What the fuck am I watching right now? Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, why not? Why not? Uh, this game is getting royally, royally fucking crazy right now. How many, how many libs? We got 12 libs, two more on the way. You know, a little bit of a struggle on the gas income for Better Bobby, who neglected that entire resource for the first 14 minutes of this game, but is going to be trying it up now. We've got a few tech labs as well, maybe see some battle cruisers added in. And are we going to see Liberators try to jump on this? I think we might. Oh, let's see how Alchemy deals with this one. So Alchemy says, you know what, sometimes the best defense is a strong offense. Oh wait, no. I don't think that applies to this situation. Turns around, loses a few units, including the 53 killer mortal. Wow, what a way for a hero to go out. Walk into 16 fucking liberator zones and get your face lasered off. Okay, sure, why not? Uh, we've still got the two balls though. 13 kills on one, nine on the other. They're gonna wander back home. I'm liking this army. Two immortals, a stalker, a zealot, and two disruptors. That stalker has 24 kills. And the zealot has eight. Jesus Christ. Meanwhile, Alchemy's thinking, maybe I need to transition. I feel like maybe there's a few more bases than I realized. He's going to flank the Liberators, and this single Stalker is going to take them all down, clearly, before they re-siege. Wait, no, apparently Stalkers don't have as much DPS as we thought. After, of course, they did buff them in that patch. Uh, I mean, I was reading Reddit, and I thought they did 3,000 damage a second, but apparently not. 
Uh, the two balls here running around, the immortals as well. Alchemy is like, I could be expanding and making units, but instead I'm going to just run around two balls and two immortals and see what I can do. The banshees come out and they're like, haha, you can't shoot up. Alchemy is like, ah, fuck it. I better just run my balls into your planetary fortress. This is not a fun way to die. The libs go and blast the shit out of all of that, and they all die. So meanwhile, Alchemy is like, it's okay, guys. I've got a Void Ray building. I don't really have a lot of economy, but I'm building one Void Ray at a time, so it's all fine. This planetary fortress is like, if only my guns could point up. Fuck, Terran engineers are stupid. These guys aren't even flying that high. They're gonna turn on their big high stream. They've been slamming back Mountain Jews, and now they're fucking piss is getting really really high intensity unfortunately though they were sterile because they drank too much mountain dew and now they don't have a chance to have children before the frack 19 liberators decide to take them down alchemy is like it's okay i've got 16 three three stalkers better bobby's like oh do you you've got stalkers do you <laughs> how about a nice tall glass of freedom you oppressed protoss fox um, so here we go, Alchemy is thinking about dropping some liberate, uh, stalkers on the liberators. Oh god, that's a lot of liberators getting their faces blasted off. Better Bobby, not with the best liberation zones, but that's really not what it's about, is it? The Void Ray comes forward, takes out one. These liberators trying to take on a single Void Ray with their two splash damage. Uh, not the most efficient fight from Bobby. At this point, it's not so much a zombie simulator as is some sort of sick, sadistic, slow fucking murder of the Protoss player. He's like, I'm just going to kill you in the most hilarious, slow and ridiculous way possible. Nice little stalker drop tries to come in. Better Bobby's like, oh, you're going to do that, are you? Well, uh, how about some freedom? The stalkers, are they quick? They're gonna dodge, they're gonna try and dodge. There's a Banshee there, though. They're not fighting the Banshee because they can't see it. They're like, oh, shit. There's rockets coming out of that blurry thing. I definitely know how, don't know how to aim my lasers over there. And uh, at this point, I think we're just going to see, uh, hopefully, a game that concludes rather quickly. But I think we're going to see Alchemy slowly pressed up against the wall until every bit of hope and desire to ever play a ladder game again is pushed out of his ego, pushed out of his brain. Because I think Better Bobby might be might be checkmating him right now. The Stalkers are going to run down the ramp into the Liberation Zones. They're going to get stuck behind each other. Some beautiful micro from Alchemy there. Does manage to break the ramp, actually. It's going to push through. That's a shit ton of 3-3 Stalkers. These Liberators have no upgrades. And better Bobby's like, oh shit, I might have overstepped on this one, guys. Pull back to the planetaries, quick, get back there. Um, there's Void Rays here as well, though. They could come forward, do some damage. These Banshees have got Hyperflight Rotors. What a bunch of badasses. And what's in production? We've got eight more Liberators. Is there, is there extended? No, no, we don't have advanced ballistics for those Libs just yet. The Storks and Immortals are going to come forward. The Banshees trying to help out, but there's an Observer. And those Banshees just get blasted along with that planetary. More and more libs on the way. Meanwhile, Alchemy is like, I better make just more Stalkers. I still don't have Blink, but I'm just going to keep making Stalkers. Uh, we'd love to see some Tempest, some Psy Storm. Um, also, some DTs would be really nice, wouldn't they? But uh, it's just going to be Liberators vs. Stalkers. This is a sad, sad proto story. This is like a cautionary tale. This is like those old fairy tales where they're like, yeah... If someone comes and offers you candy, they're going to put you in an oven and fucking eat you. Um, this is basically for all the Protoss players out there. This is the replay, the video you show your children at night before they go to sleep and you say, Stalkers are okay against one or two Liberators, guys. But remember, if someone ever offers you 46 Liberators, don't feed them your Stalkers. Unfortunately, Alchemy, apparently, parents didn't read him that story. He's like, nah, I think more Stalkers and Void Rays will get the job done. If I keep fighting through the Freedom Zone, apparently I'll get so much freedom I'll just win the game. Wait a second, Alchemy, being a bit of a clever problem solver, has used his science skills and has sidestepped the Freedom Zones and is like, hey, now your freedom isn't doing anything, is it, dickhead? Uh, he's going to come around. The Liberators are like, oh shit, we better reposition. The Void Rays are gone. A lot of Stalkers are dead, but hey, they killed some air units. That wasn't half bad. Alchemy's like, you know what? I like that move. I'm going to use my science skills again. He does another rotation around the Freedom. Better Bobby's like, holy shit, what is this dark magic he's using? He's found some fucking way to avoid the Liberation Zones. I don't quite understand it. I think he might be hacking. 
potentially using some sort of cheat codes, because I've never seen this one before. I better counter him by landing some barracks in his fourth base. I think this is a good move. We've got one. This is the sergeant barracks. He's got his little squad he's in charge of. Their orders are to stand, intimidate, and eventually build a few unupgraded marines just to get in that real theme from the start of this game. So this guy here, he's shouting encouragement. He's like, build those marines. You better train those marines faster. Get on it. One of his soldiers has died, and he's immediately going to run away. What a bunch of fucking yellow-bellied coward sergeant that guy is. These marines are like, hey, we're just going to kill your probes. The stalkers are like, that's okay. We don't give a fuck about probes. They're stuck-up dickheads anyway. These marines are like, oh, all right, we'll kill a few of them. No worries, man. Eventually, the lasers do find their face, though. Pieces of Terran barracks fly everywhere. And we've got to say, what's going to happen next? It seems like plasma shields, a fifth base, and more immortals and probes are on the way for alchemy. And, uh, what the hell is Better Bobby gonna do? He's got Liberators, Banshees, Ravens, and Vikings. Okay, so Better Bobby's saying, ha ha, if I build one of every air unit, this'll be funny. Um, I don't think he's actually used these units before, though, and he's a little bit confused at how he's actually gonna win the game. So we're gonna have to see if he can figure out some way to counteract the uh, hacking cheat codes of Alchemy, as Alchemy's stalkers have clearly shown they are nimble, high-level, non-blink stalker motherfuckers, and they are ready to kill some liberators. For now, they're gonna have a little bit of a dance in the purple maze. This is the stalker equivalent of one of those ball pits. You guys know those ball pits you throw your kid into if you don't love them? Um, you're like, oh yeah, it's like daycare. They'll have a lot of fun in there. You throw your kid in this big fucking cage thing and then they're, they're just kind of drowning in these balls while some other snot-nosed kids rubs their fucking snot and poo in their face. Yes, that's, that's, this is the ball pen of stalkers over there. We saw them kind of running around, headbutting each other for a while. Now they're gonna come in and once again they sidestep the freedom. The Banshee Auto Turret. I think that's the hard counter of stalkers. I don't know if you guys watched Stats vs. Maru the other week, but I'm pretty sure this is the exact same strategy as we saw in that one. Executed probably to a slightly higher skill level as Maru and Stats really aren't quite up to date with the meta. Those Korean players always lagging a little bit behind. Unfortunately, the Alchemy Stalkers right now are going to get fucking dicked. Better Bobby's like, you can't see me, dickhead. And he's like, oh, he's the he's the snot-nosed kid. He keeps wiping his nose and rubbing it in them. They're fucking sinking under the balls in the pit. They're like, fuck, I can't see what's going on. Mom, why'd you leave me in here? Mom, mom. <laughs> Alchemy's like, ah, oh, fucking kids, they'll be right in there. He probably looks back and goes, where'd they go? Oh, I lost me kid in the ball pen. Shit. No, seriously, where'd, it, where'd, it, where'd they go? Oh, I guess they're fucking dead. Okay, wow, that's that's fantastic. Great parenting, Alchemy. Great fucking parenting, you piece of shit. I definitely was never traumatized by being left alone in one of those ball pits, guys. I'm sure they're a decent way to take care of your children, I'm, I'm sure, if you're a terrible parent. Just gonna say, fuck off. Uh, meanwhile, this Banshee's like, haha, decided to turn invisible at the last second. These guys running around more lost than a bunch of drunk dudes outside of a bar. All they can think about is, where's the fucking booze? I need to get myself another drink. Finally, some observers come forward. They blast the face off. We've still got a base up here. Um, or I should say, there was a base up here because Alchemy's about to lose the last vestiges of economy. Better Bobby's about to say, ha ha, I just fucked you up with 400,000 air units, mate, ha ha. He started off building about 3,000 Marines in this game, rallying them unupgraded one at a time to their death. So I'm gonna pay it. I'm gonna say, you know what? There were billions of Marines. There were now billions of Banshees. I think this is a good game for this challenge. I'm gonna say, better Bobby, you've lived up to it. Alchemy here is like, you know, Banshees are light units. I better activate my bonus to armored damage so that I can help kill those light Banshee units quicker. Uh, of course, once again, Protoss players thinking more about the size of their beam rather than how they use it. And this is a common problem with Protoss players. Don't know if you guys have noticed it, but uh, always trying to make their lasers look bigger than they really are. Eventually, Alchemy says, I've had enough. Fuck you. This game really sucks. He closes StarCraft, never to open it again. And Pigs, I cast your freaking awesome replay show, claims another victim where we limit... The player base of StarCraft by one more player. That's our job here, guys. We're killing the game one bullshit trolley game at a time. We're slowly ruining the community. Thank you very much for that one. That was, that was an amazing game. That was an amazing game. Um, oh, fuck. I 